I just improved my mental health by 10 times because I created my own definition of success. And all my life I was just following the definition of success by other people. I can't be successful if I don't make money, I can't be successful if I do this and this and this, I have to make 10k a month, otherwise I won't be successful, I have to have this body, I have to go to the gym, I have to get a girlfriend, or I won't be successful. And that put so much stress on me that I almost had like a, a mental breakdown today. I came home from my girlfriend and I was on the bike for one and a half hours because I don't have a car yet and I still have to do my driver's license and I'm quite overwhelmed and so I had to drive home by bike. And while I was on the bike I was just like listening to a podcast by Dan Co about like one person businesses and I was looking to the distance you know letting my thoughts um, roam around and as usual because I'm a quite anxious person some negative overthinking thoughts and like impulsive thoughts pop into my head. And one of those thoughts were like you're not successful and I kind of felt like uncertain and I don't really know what to do like when you when you're on self-improvement and you try to achieve your goals, there's like a lot of uncertainty, especially when you don't see progress. Like I've been recording videos daily and improving my skills daily and I really put like 8 to 12 hours a day of work into my business and I haven't seen any success. Like of course my YouTube channel grew to like 800 subs and I'm extremely grateful for that, but we think that we deserve more than we actually do. Like we have like this ego, you know I'm kind of fighting with my ego because I think I deserve more success right now than I actually do. Which might be true, but the market and the universe always tells the truth. Like the more you put in, the more you get out. But if you think that you've put in a lot of work, but you haven't achieved any success, that is that has nothing to do with you having a bad life or with you being unlucky. It is all to do with you not putting in enough work and maybe missing a single piece. Right? Like there's this compound effect that every single action that you take is basically voting for your success. And sometimes I fuck up. I played like one and a half hours of video games with my girlfriend a couple of days ago. After not playing video games for years. Sometimes I eat chocolate, sometimes I do like stupid shit. Like I don't jog off anymore, I don't really play video games anymore, I don't do all of these extremely bad habits. But sometimes I treat myself with a piece of chocolate or I watch a movie or play like one and a half hours of video games with my girlfriend. Like that happens. And I think I really have to cut that shit out. Because, like I said, it's like this compound effect. Well, I'm not working on my business for one and a half hours and I'm enjoying myself. Someone else is working on the business and helping other people while I'm not. And that all ties like into purpose and your drive and your mission. And I just really got really insecure and sad about it. But then I was thinking about, okay, I think I'm not successful and I deserve more success, but what is my definition of success? I constantly had the de definition of success that I have to make money in order to be successful. I have to make 3k a month, then it was 10k a month, then I was okay I will 10x my goals, it's 100k a month, then I was like in, in three years I have to be a billionaire <laughs> and then I have to move to Thailand and I have to go do this and do this and do this and I'm constantly just like switching the points of what I see as a success but I really had to like reconsider my thoughts about this and really think about what does success mean to me because you have to act like the person that you want to become in the present to become your desired self in the future. So every single action that I'm taking today has to be aligned with my long-term goals so I become the person that can achieve those goals. And if I don't achieve my goals right now, it is just because I either lack the belief or the skill to achieve that. Those are the only two things that make you successful, you believe in your skills. I'm not as successful because I'm not that good at storytelling, at recording videos, at giving value as I think. And on top of that, like the belief ties into that, that I believe I am not worthy of success, that I'm not good enough, that I have to put in a bunch of work, that I deserve success and I don't have to put in even more work, like this kind of battle inside of me. But I think everyone is like this uncertainty and this battle inside of us. And that is our human nature. Like we're goal-driven creatures. We need to have goals. We need to have a mission to work on. We need, we're always striving forward and having like a evolution inside of us, inside of our lives as a single individual but also on the big scale as like humanity and we're constantly moving forward and we need goals to have like a clear direction a clear path but sometimes the plan is not working accordingly to our expectations and then we get sad like you've been putting in so much work you've been going to the gym 10 times <laughs> 10 times a day and you don't see any success it's kind of weird because 
the more you put in, the more you get out, right? Like if you if you actually go to the gym seven times a week and eat clean, you can build a good looking body. Like this is proof right now. I used to be completely obese and ugly and I built like a quite good looking body, right? Like I'm not the most muscular guy, but I'm I'm quite proud of it. And I can walk around confidently and I look better than like 90% of the guys from my school. And I can go swimming in the summer with my girlfriend and don't feel like a bitch. Like that is that is completely fine. But why is it then that when I work like 12 hours a day since one and a half years on my business that I'm not, I don't see any success, I'm not making any money. Like the equivalent of going to the gym and building mus muscle in the business sense is working on my business and making money. I'm working on my business but I'm not building any muscle. That is like a good way to put it. And I just think that's become, that is because the competition is cutthroat. And I maybe have like a quite disadva like a disadvantage but I'm turning it into something positive. Like I am suffering from anxiety every single second of the day and a lot of people would see that as a disadvantage and they would hate to live how I'm living and they wouldn't even understand the amount of like pain that I'm going through and I hate to speak about it because I don't want to victimize myself and I don't see it as a bad thing. Like of course it's completely painful to wake up in the morning and experience a panic attack and then feel anxious every single second of the day since eight years without having a single minute of peace or rest. But I turn all of that energy into my work. But the belief and the thoughts of that anxiety create a false reality for myself. Like in my head I have a completely screwed up and delusioned and wrong perceived reality. My reality is completely fine. I'm doing so good. Like honestly, I have a girlfriend, I have a nice home, I have money, I am not completely ugly and I'm improving my looks. I found my purpose, I found my mission, or at least I think I do. I'm working on my business. I'm writing quite good grades at school, even though my grades got a bit worse because that's that's because I'm focusing more on my business, because that's my prim like primary focus. My family is quite healthy. I'm living in a safe country, we always have enough food. If I want to buy something, I can buy it. It's all good. But in my real like in my head, my success and the way I see myself is completely like screwed. And that's why I had to redefine my de definition of success. Because in my head I see myself not worthy of love, not worthy of success, and it's not good enough. Now the part that you don't think you're good enough and you're constantly insecure is a quite good thing because it's an extremely good drive for you to push yourself forward, right? Like I'm using all of this anxiety, these insecurities to push myself forward and improve, which was the first reason why I got into self-improvement. Psychology 101, increasing pleasure, running away from pain. That's what we're doing all of our life. But it's extremely uncomfortable to live with such a negative reality even though you're performing so good. Like like you have a, such a good reality but in your head the reality is completely screwed. A lot, like People would kill for what I'm doing and my mindset and how productive I am every single day. I would have killed someone to be in the position that I am right now three years ago. I have achieved all of the goals that my 15 year old self has set. All of them. Building a good body, getting a girlfriend, starting my business. I have achieved all of that. Getting rid of my porn addiction, my video game addiction, my junk food addiction. All of it. And now that I'm in the position, I'm just chasing a new goal and a new goal and I want more success and more success and more, 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 more success. So what I did is I journaled about it for like 10 minutes and then the solution came to my head. It just popped in my head. So I redefined my definition of success and instead of tying my self-worth to external things which I can't really control like money or the amount of people that I help or how much views I get or how whatever it might be, I started to look within myself and now I'm judging my success on the actions that I take daily to achieve the big goal. So my definition of success is now looking at the actions necessary to achieve my goals. And if I take every single day the actions necessary to achieve that goal, it is a win and it's a successful day. And I'm trying to reprogram my mind and really putting this thought into my head of before I go to bed I journal about if I got closer to my goal. Like I write down all of the accomplishments that I achieved that day. I write down the hours of flow state that I had. So usually like two to five hours a day. I write down what I have done if I like got better at scripting videos, if I've learned something new, I write all of that down and I'm basically training my identity and putting evidence into place that 
I am worthy of success and that I will be successful. Because if I do that for even longer, like let's say three years, and every single day I'm showing up and I'm doing and taking the actions and the steps necessary to be successful, I will become that person. That is the only way it works. But a lot of people forget the mindset part, the belief part of that. And your mindset is so fucking important. I really looked like into identity and the different parts that you have within yourself and understanding spirituality and philosophy and psychology and your conscious brain and stuff like that and trauma. And there was this really nice quote by Carl Jung who said, your unconscious mind will rule your life and you will call it fate. So basically everything that you're doing is because of something inside of you that you're not even aware of, which is in your unconscious mind. So like a, a level, like a state of mind that you don't even have access to where all of your trauma is, repressed emotions, insecurities. Well, you might be aware of insecurities, but like some deep, deep, deep down stuff that you can only really feel through emotions because the only way your unconscious self can com communicate with your brain that you have access to, so your conscious mind, conscious self, is through emotions. And that is super powerful. And there are a lot of billionaires and bodybuilders and wingmen that are successful in the terms of what society expects from you as successful, but in their minds are suffering. In their mind, they're completely terrible. They're completely screwed. They're insecure. They don't feel a sense of self-worth. They don't have a good self-image and they're running to other people to get attention from them. That's something that I learned from the book um, for uh, The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. Like we develop a self-image between the ages of two to five, three to five, and we copy the characteristics, skills, beliefs of our parents and the good qualities and the bad qualities. But some people fail to build up the self-image if they have abundant parents, if they have abusive parents or if they have over-caring parents and they screw up their self-image and then they don't have anything to hold on to within themselves to give them attention and love so they run to other people to get attention from them. And that's also like a part of what I'm doing. I'm not confident, I am insecure. I'm not satisfied with my situation, I'm in pain, so I'm looking outside to gain attention from other people and chase success, to get attention, to feel worthy and get the attention that I want to satisfy my inner needs. So really think about why you want to be successful in the first place. What is the primary motive behind that? Like think about your, think about your past, what happened to you as a child? Like what is the relationship between you and everyone in your life? How are you operating? How does your mind actually work? Start to realize that you are not your thoughts. You have to become an observer of your thoughts. Stop labeling yourself as something because you have an identity and your identity has to act consistent with what you're labeling yourself with. If you say, if I say I'm an entrepreneur, I have to act in accordance with that. So I have to act like an entrepreneur. Which means waking up every morning at 5, 6 a.m., working on my business 12 hours a day, going to bed, feeling burned out and if I don't act in alignment with my expectations of my identity I'm screwed I could be sitting outside right now doing nothing enjoying life but I'm suffering because I put a label on myself and I'm labeling myself as an entrepreneur and as soon as you put labels on yourself you're creating suffering because you say I am like this so I can't do this and as soon as you act outside of what you should act in because you labeled yourself with that you create suffering. And that's not what you want. You want success. So think about how your identity also ties into the success that you want to have. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, fine. What do I have to do? Work daily. What does success look like to me? The daily actions that I take to become successful. What does success not look like to me? Making money, the views, whatever. So another way you could say this is not focusing on the initial goal, but more on the like on the journey. Not on the destination, but on the journey. Because along the journey, you are transitioning, and that's where the change is happening. And then you become he who can achieve those goals. So it's all about the journey, not about the end destination. But you need to have a destination, otherwise you will fall into chaos. You need to have clarity. You're a goal-driven creature. You need to have a purpose in a sense of... You need to have something bigger than yourself in life, or you will fall into chaos but redefine your definition of success and also redefine your definition of failure. I always thought I'm a failure if I record a video and it only gets 10 views, even though I put 
hours of work into that video. That's what actually happened to my recent video about how to um, stop letting social anxiety control you. I put like 12 hours of work into that. I woke up in the morning at 5, I worked on it until like 6 p.m. So like 13 hours of work, I was scripting everything. The information that's inside of the video is from like 4 or 5 different books that I've read. So that was like another like 30, 40 hours to get to gather that information. And then creating that and putting it into like a system for other people to digest took like another 12 hours. Recording it took uh, 50 minutes because the, f the first file fucked up so I had to record it again. And the editing took another like 2 hours. I published it, I get 14 views. Now, my old self, my yesterday self would have thought that there was a, like a lose, like I'm losing. But my new, def my new definition of losing is quitting. If I quit, I lose. That is my new definition of losing. But I know that I will never quit, so I cannot lose. And I can't lose if I do not quit. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about mindset, productivity and mental health, click on the first link in the description to join my community and please take action.